In this video, we're going to take a look at target number three. I can know when to make a discrete graph, just dots, and when to make a continuous graph, given the situation. And the continuous is when, we, when you would be connecting the dots. So in this particular problem, it does outline a sequence. And realistically, as soon as you see the word sequence, you immediately know that it's discrete. And you know that because, by definition, sequences are discrete. And the reason why we call them discrete is because they hop from one number of the sequence to the next. For example, if this were the first term of the sequence, it would jump from term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There would be no data points in the middle. There's no such thing as the one and a half if term of the sequence. There's not something in between these numbers because it just jumps. And that's what a sequence does. So when you go to graph your sequence, anytime you do that, it would be negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, 3, and 7. And all you'd do is you'd have a bunch of dots going up your page. Now, in this particular question, you'll notice that they actually are telling you the term 0. It says find a rule beginning with t of n for the nth term of the sequence. You can assume that the first term of the sequence is n equals 0. So they're telling you that this is the 0th term. Usually we know that this is term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, and so on, and we oftentimes have to figure this one out. They told you that this one is negative 9, so they're kind of giving you a freebie. Uh, oftentimes a sequence will start just like this, which 90% of sequences, almost all of them, start with just the first term, and you have to figure out this one. In this particular case, they actually are giving you the first one. So then you just go, okay, 0 is negative 9, you put a dot down here at negative 9, you know, so you'd have a dot at negative 9, then negative 5, then negative 1, then 3, then 7, and you would not connect those, showing that it's hopping from one term to the next. And if you're going to, you know, this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3, and this is term 4, and so on. And you can just tell that it's that. And don't connect them because it's a sequence. Now, something that you would connect would be a continuous function or a continuous situation. So, like, if you have equations that are in the form of f of x equals 3x plus 2, we know that those are functions and they are continuous. Whereas if you had a sequence, it would be t of n equals, and then it would just be the dots is another clue that things are discrete or continuous. Um, you have to have a context of a story that allows there to be data points in between. If some things exist in between or can be any number that goes in and out, then you would have a graph like this. So this graph would be continuous because it hits at 2, then its slope is up 3 over 1, and you've got that full equation. If it followed a situation such that it was continuous and you could have decimal points going in and out of that function. The main idea here is to be able to notice when the context or a story is either continuous or discrete. Do, are decimals allowed? Do they make sense? You know, some real life examples of people or cheeseburgers or t-shirts, you can't order parts of those. You can't have half a person, half a t-shirt, half a cheeseburger. When you go to purchase, you know, food and t-shirts, that doesn't work. So therefore, that would be discrete context. Students and classrooms, that would also be discrete because you can only have so many people per classroom. Things that are continuous is things like, um, you know, buying things where, you get decimal numbers, like buying gasoline at a gas station. And, and um, if you're painting a wall, how much paint did you use out of that gallon? You know, different things like that, those would make those then continuous. So the difference is if there's data points in between and if decimals are allowed as inputs and outputs, it's going to be continuous. If not, it's discrete.